Yeah. Your fans don't want to see this. They see me eating all the time. Pizza and Taco Bell. <laughs> to hashtag cupcakes. Welcome back to another Wednesday follow-up. Join me again is Adam, also known as The Boy. The Boy. We'll have uh, in text somewhere in here. It'll say Not to be confused with Roy the Boy. Yeah, Roy is also The Boy. When Adam is referencing me, then I'm part of The Boy. And Will is also The Boy. Everybody's The Boy. And Ben is also The Boy. Gary is Harry Gary. <laughs> Sorry, Gary. Today we're following up on the fancy serving tray. Oh, my, it off. Let me get my great bell and coke off of there. Dude, that is Sam's Club code. Dude, I like how I got the, the floating bottom there. I've done floating bottoms before, and I think a lot of times a little bit of glue gets on it, so it, it just stays. Yeah. Good. But I like it when you get it just right and it still like has wiggles wiggle, around. It has yeah. wiggle room in there. Everybody likes the floating bottom. It's very smooth. I like the this joinery. I don't the splines, know. dude. Splines. That was something I had to touch on because uh, I didn't show making those splines. Normally you have a jig and you make those in, it's kind of like a 45 or a 90 degree angle that you drop this down into like so. And you have that supported in this jig where you can run, you it, run it through the saw through blade. The table saw. Well, no, what I did is so I just free handed it. I just put this up against the fence at an angle and use my hand to like hold it against the fence and just. I was like, that's probably pretty unsafe. And if I leave it in there, then we're probably going to have the YouTube safety police pointing its bony finger at me. No, almost any. YouTube woodworker. You could scroll through and find somebody that's like, hand too close to the blade. And a lot of times it's like just a trick of the camera. But this was a wife requested project. So you know what that means. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. She, she wants to buy an ottoman and we have to have a, a decorative tray to put on the ottoman. Neither of y'all is in a wheelchair. You're not gonna put drinks on this and well, carry it out. That's, that's what I asked her. I was like, so what do you do with a decorative serving tray? And she's like, no, dude, that's for serving drink. You better fucking serve me drinks on this next time I come to your house. Bring me a single blast cola. <laughs> <laughs> it's just right. comments. Now, we got quite a bit to follow up on, but from last Wednesday and this oh, project boy. video, my sister, I left the clip in there of her talking about making a banana boat. She opened a Pandora's box where I think most of y'all are more concerned with the banana boats than the, than the serving tray. Anything for views, man. <laughs> Anything for views, hey, they you know. And just to let y'all know, in this video, my sister will show you how to make banana boats. And you'll see what exactly they are. But uh, I heard from Gary first. Gary, Harry Gary. He says, where's the video on how to make a banana boat? That will be uh, in a little bit. He responded to my secret question, which wasn't really a secret question, it was to leave a comment about the perpetual screaming of cicadas. He said he doesn't understand how cicada males just get a scream to get a mate but then redo it, it doesn't work. It works for some of us. I mean, it's the same as birds. I heard from JMS, I haven't heard, he's a new subscriber. JMS? He said, I had Ben in that video, I said, looks like your kid's already a better woodworker than you. But he probably, probably is. Dude, I heard from some sick freak on there. Do you recognize that name? Victor Carrillo? I don't know who that is. Victor said, Ayo, good. <laughs> I just realized, good job. Good job. Learn to spell, Victor. I heard from old Kevin. Kevin! He said, I better use this for breakfast in bed for Jeff today because today's Mother's Day. She well, Father's Day's coming up. Dude. Yeah. And he says, What the hell is a banana boat? <laughs> what the fuck is a banana boat? <laughs> heard from Mary. Mary! So it came out really nice and she really liked seeing Ben. Uh, I heard from this guy, too. He's Luke's Silverfish? Silverman. I don't I don't know who Luke Silverman is. He said, wish I could have seen how the banana boat turned out. <sighs> the banana boat. Luke, <laughs> I hope they don't put you in charge of anything. That was all the comments I got on the serving tray. What the hell? My oh, wood. Oh my big old log. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody 
everybody wants to know about the banana boat. I didn't know what a banana boat is. It's like Sierra remember that she could make these banana boats and she made them once and she hasn't shut up about them for like a month. But she need to take that banana boat and sail back across the sea with it. Last Wednesday, how do you choose wood for a project? How do you choose wood for a project? I heard from Kevin first. He seems to be pretty thoughtful about like what kind of wood would be best for the project he's building. That's when he was talking to me about making a tobacco pipes out of briar and mortar. Oh. That is very nice, Kevin. That is very nice. There's another one. Down. It looks good, Kevin. Really good. It does look good. There's Luke Silverfish again. He says he chooses wood by asking his dad, who's more experienced. He said, or a guy at work. Japanese hand shows. <laughs> Don't trust people at work, Luke. I wouldn't ask the guy at work. No. I mean, they could use pallet wood for their projects. Well, I heard it from Gary! Gary! Harry, Carry, Gary. Dude, Gary, remember we took the bag of balls down? Yeah. Look what Gary said. Let's see. No! No! You want them back, Gary? We can put it back! We can put it back, go, Gary. Go put it back. There it, there it is! There it is, Gary. Look, we'll put, we'll put it back up. I don't remember where exactly it was at. That's, that's right. That's about right. There we go. This is for you, Gary. Sounds like Gary very much keeps in mind the function of what he's doing. The form does follow function. Bobby Slack. It's a cool name. Bobby Slack made a comment about the sack. Gary has to drive an hour and a half to the closest hardwood dealer, and even then, they only have domestic lumber. No exotics. That sucks, Mary. I had, a, I had a secret question in there too about like so, something, I don't even remember what it was. It's something about like not being able to find your favorite shirt because it's in the washers. And Mary said, uh, that's right up there with having your heart set on soda for dinner and finding out you only had water. Which is really funny because Adam knows I gotta get up at like 5.30 every morning. I'm the only driver right now. I drive halfway across town to drop Ben off at his babysitter's. Drive way across town to get to my job, work all day, drive back across town to pick Ben up, and then halfway across town to get back home, and then Jeff will be making dinner, and she's like, can you go buy me a soda? And I'm like, just drink the water. Yeah, dude. Uh, she's like, yeah, I already drank water today. I already drank water? <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh, there she is there. They're just talking about you. What? So it's talking about you popping out of the kitchen like, Go get me a soda. <laughs> it's Mother's Day. Treat me nice. It wasn't on Mother's Day when it happened. <laughs> it's Mother's Retroactively, Day today. There's lots Treat of her nice. <laughs> one of those northerners and call it pop. <laughs> <laughs> so I have kind of a two-parter question. Well, more like two different questions. They're actually completely unrelated to each other. So the main question of the week is I want to know what is your favorite wood finish? My favorite is spray lacquer, which you see me use for like everything. What's, what's your favorite wood finish, Adam? All of them. All That's... wood finishes matter. Second question. The second question is any of you long-time viewers, I want to know, is there any particular projects that you enjoyed from the time period before we started doing follow-up videos that you would like to see again and maybe have us touch on? Yeah, we'll talk about it. So I want to know, is there any older ones that you particularly liked and want to know more about or see how it's holding up? That's it! That's it! Let's check out how to make a fucking banana boat. I hope you all enjoy that. I will see you on Friday. We will see you next Wednesday. So uh, we'll catch you next time, eh? Bye-bye. People want to know more of what a banana boat is. I'm, I'm happy to share this. Let's check that out. You just take your banana, peel and all, and you cut it open just like a little canoe. You peel it open and you stuff it with Hershey's chocolate. You stick whatever whatever you think is a good amount for you. It's your banana boat. After you have the chocolate in place, you take the mini mallows and you fill your boat. Once you're you're all set to go with your mallow and your chocolate, you just wrap her on up the tin foil. And you can either broil these, or if you've got a barbecue going, these are perfect to put on the grill. 
a little exposed, your mallows will not stick to your tin foil, which I had to learn the hard way. We're going to just put these in the broiler for about 15 minutes. It's been about 10, 15 minutes. They're looking like they're golden brown and delicious. Yeah. And there is your banana boats. The secret banana boats the revealed. The secret. So. In the banana boat tray. It's the fancy cherry serving tray. So now Luke and Kevin and Gary and all of them now know what a banana boat is. So I'm taking a banana boat. They stay hot for like ever. Mm -hmm. Banana boat. Banana 